Hello and welcome back to our North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty and NCAA Football 2004. We're going to be finishing up Season 4 here today. It's going to be four games, then we're going to do the offseason and get Season 5, the finale of the series, set up. Go ahead and slap the like button if you haven't already, guys. And, you know, subscribe if you're new. All that fun stuff. Got this shared in the Discord. Let me get this graphic off the screen. Here we are. I think I'm shared in the Discord. Let me see. Technology is not my friend. Oh, I guess uh, I guess it doesn't want to share it in there. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna figure that out. Do, 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 do. This is episode number 34. My goodness. Come a long way. It's good to get back to this series finally. Alright, let's try that link. There we go. Alright, we're sharing the Discord. We are all set. Good to go. Let's get it, boys. All right, we're going to be taking on Wake Forest in Game 1. This is a rivalry game in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And the Demon Deacons, pretty good season for them. I mean, they're 5-4, and four, as I accidentally switched to last week. All right. Uh, they're 5-4 and four on the year. This is going to be a televised matchup. Their defense is top 40. Not bad. Their offense uh, is pretty bad, though. <laughs> 74th in the country. Uh, they have a hard time throwing the football. They're more of a run-oriented offense, but I don't think that really bodes well for them because we have the number one rush defense in the land, allowing just 44 yards per game. We're crushing teams on defense. Uh, but last game, I mean, Maryland, they put up 29 points on us. That's the most points we've allowed all season long. If we go back and look, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, before that, it was Penn State, only 15. So uh, Maryland was a little bit tougher competition. Uh, the last three games of the regular season, though, our opponents are a combined 7 of seven and 19. So that's pretty rough. But we have had a decently tough schedule this season, though. Everybody else has a winning record up there, except for Alabama and Clemson. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Let me make sure the commentary is on. For all the pregame fun stuff. All right, play-by-play. -play. Normal. Love it. Let's get it. Let's get it. USC beats Oregon State. Arkansas, 9-1. There's so many really good teams this season. It's actually crazy. Ohio State's still undefeated. Notre Dame's still undefeated. Let me see who we got in the chat real quick. If it'll ever load. My goodness gracious. All right, we got Marvin Joseph. Dwayne Haynes and Jared Green. What's going on, fellas? Going to your first Astros and first ever MLB game. Nice. I like it. All right, let's go, boys. Lake Forest, literally the smallest Power 5 school in the FBS. That is true. All right. Higgins closing in on 3,000 passing yards. I'd love to get him up to 4,000 this season. That would be awesome sauce. I'm doing all right, Dwayne. I'm doing all right, buddy. I got three basketball games I got to play tomorrow, so we'll talk about that more in a minute. Football weather here for today's matchup between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. And here come the Demon Deacons. Hi and welcome everybody. Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kurt. Tyler Rocky, what's up, Tyler? Bring you some exciting college football action. Well, 
I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close at all. North Carolina looks to be pretty unstoppable offensively, and that's primarily because of their quarterback. Not only is this guy gifted physically, he's got such a grasp of this game mentally. Lee, he's a coach's dream. You're 100% correct. North Carolina has the ability to throw the ball all over this secondary, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Kirk, you can forget about this one because it's going to get ugly. Why even bother? Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. I've always liked this stadium. It's a nice stadium. How are you, Tyler? How you doing, buddy? Can't wait for the next edition of NCAA football for me. I can't wait either, man. It's going to be fun. Uh, currently, uh, NCAA football 11 is leading the vote on the community tab on my channel. So if you haven't voted yet, go vote for the next game you guys want to see. I know everybody in here has probably voted already. Oops. Pre-game presentation was always better in the earlier games. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more, Marvin. Josh Hutt on for the kickoff. Wow, that went way to the right. Oh, my goodness gracious. Get him, McNeil. Good tackle, buddy. All right. Let's go defense. Number two defense in the country. Looks like they run... Uh, Flexbone style offense. Which would explain them having just a better rush offense than passing attack, so. NCAA 11 is winning. It sure is, Marvin. I think it's got 38% of the vote right now. And I think we've had uh, 38 votes. I think 07 and 08 are, um, they're like right behind them at like 20-something percent. Pullback counter. Parts gets a couple yards. 11 is hard to find for the PS2. Sure is. I think I spent uh, 45, 50 bucks on it. Of course, I've had all of them for several years now. 10 and 0. We're going to try. We're trying, Tyler. It'd be nice to be 10 and 0. Not that it's going to help us get into the title game because, I mean, there's so many undefeated schools right now it's insane I've never seen this many teams with eight nine ten wins with zero losses it's crazy I think there's eight of us still undefeated this late in the season Monroe 45 plus yards per punt on the season that is really good Arthur Dalton. Ah, uh, for the return. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, man. All right, offense. We're going to cruise to a dub here today. I'm telling you, man. I'll tell you what. This is going to be a pretty long stream. Probably like five, six hours most likely. So strap yourselves in, boys. Darius Bowman. Nice catch. Run to Darius. Woo, baby. All the way to the 23-yard line. Let's go. First down, Tar Heels. Awesome start. Spent 30 bucks on 11. But some of the others in the series are literally a couple bucks. Yeah, I know it. The reason why mine was like 45, 50 bucks is because it was brand new, still in the wrapping. Green breaking attack. A nice run after the catch by the tight end. Arkansas beats South Carolina. There's so many teams with just one loss as well. It's so crazy how many good teams there are right now. I like it. it means we don't have an easy path to the title game. And off the face mask of a Darius Bowman. No 
Number one in the country on third down, 63% conversion rate. Very good. And that should have been pass interference. I probably should have just took off there. And you know what? I'm going to go for it. What do we got to lose, right? 95% in the red zone this year. That's second in the country. Love it. Love to see it. Nixon, wide open. First down inside the 10-yard line. Let's go. No huddle. Number seven offense in the country. 465 yards per game. Very nice. Touchdown, Mike Mason. Tar Heels strike first. Let's go, baby. Really good start. Get a three and out from our defense and a 61-yard touchdown drive from the offense. Back to it, defense. Let's go. One on one coverage against the tight end here. Oh boy, this sucks. That's the only choice I can make right there. If I tackle the quarterback, running back's going down the sideline for six. Did I read that right? North Texas is eight and two. My goodness. I guess the entire country is just like top heavy. It's got to be. The top half of the schools are just doing really good. Bottom half, just terrible. Get it, boys. All right, I'm going to go crash gold. Cover the half back here, man coverage. Draw play. And that goes nowhere. Nice tackle. Let's go. Samson, three tackles already for the middle linebacker. North Texas was fairly decent in the early 2000s. So yeah, they were pretty good. It's just, it's blowing my mind how many teams are so good this season, though. Nice deflection. Let's go. And that was Levi Square. And that's another fourth down. They did get a first down on the drive, but couldn't sustain it. Wow, what a punt. Oh, my goodness. All the way inside the 15-yard line. Why am I stuck on my own guy? Oh, my word. 11 for the PS2 suggests putting breaking block sliders 0 or 10 to 15. Not be able to run with overpowered D-line play. I will take that into consideration, my friend. Thank you, Jared. I know I'll have to fine-tune some of the stuff for sure. But there's still time to vote, so... That might not even win. We'll see. Wide open. Shifty right. Picks up around eight or nine yards. I mean, we've got over... I think we got 1,250 subscribers on the channel. And there's only been like 38 votes. So, <laughs> you know, there's, there's plenty of time for people to go vote. Oh man, I got crushed. Still completed the pass though. Our passing attack is just too good. I 
Nice catch by Dalton. And a face mask. Let's go. I'm going to take a deep shot, Mike Mason. Why not? Now he's not open. Safe route to Nixon. Just take the yards. They put banners in their in their stadium. That's pretty cool, Marvin. Dalton, first down. Easily could have took off there, but didn't feel like it. All right, let's run it. Some of the receivers are a little bit tired now. This could be a decent run. Oh, Woodruff, he's gone, baby. Touchdown, Tar Heels, let's go. Oh, that poor DB. He didn't stand a chance. Yoink! He's gone! Woodruff is just too fast. And the extra point up, and it's good. 14 to 0 here in Winston Salem, North Carolina. SG Fulton in the chat. What's going on, man? You grew up in Winston Salem and have been to the stadium many times. Nice. I like this stadium. Is it as nice in person as it is in the game? Because this is actually a pretty good stadium. I like it. I like they got the building right there. Obviously, it's not like a massive stadium or anything, but still good to look at. In 10, they added Stanford's current stadium years after it opened. Yeah, they, they really stopped caring about the PS2 versions of this game. Uh, last couple. I mean, in 11, it says NCAA 10 in, a, like, all the stadiums. Like, that's the logo. They never switched it up to the NCAA 11 logo. I do know that. No, that was actually just a read option, and Godzi is crushed for a loss. That went nowhere. I like it. That was a perfectly called blitz by me, though. And that is going to end the first quarter. We're on top 14 to nothing over our rivals, the Demon Deacons. Looking for our 10th win of the season. Third and 15. Wide open. Oh, and he overthrows his target. Western Kentucky still has a generic FCS stadium. That's tough. Well, all the more reason to replace them with created school, you know? Makes sense. Monroe is booting the ball today. My goodness. Look at that kick. All the way to the 35, 36 yard line. Their coverage team is doing a great job as well. Let's go power option.
Nice run. Woodruff. Oh, look out. Woodruff down inside the 15-yard line. He's just so fast. And pretty good blocking. Higgins got about 10 yards upfield before he was actually hit. Oh, good, uh, good replay. Got the chain gang in the way. Love it. All right, first and 10. 95% in the red zone this season. Crushing it. Only missed twice. And touchdown, Tar Heels. Mike Mason over the middle. Eight consecutive completions. Minnesota's still in the, the Metrodome. Yeah, I did know that. Well, they didn't get their stadium for a while, right? Was it when the games were still coming out on the PS2? I thought it was a little later than that. Josh Hunt boots it. Let's go, McNeil. Nice. Alright, Wake Forest. Looking for their first points of the ball game. Going option again. There's a fumble recovered by the halfback. My goodness, what a hit. Fourteen yards of offense for Wake Forest. It's really tough for them, you know, considering we have such a great rush defense. I don't know, I just bounced right off them. My goodness. And their entire offense is, you know, based around the run. So it's really tough for them to get anything going against us. They haven't even tried to throw it yet. They're down at five coming up. It opened in 09. Wow, it was that long ago already? That's crazy. I didn't think it was that long ago. Alright, another good stop for the defense. Lake Forest is going to have to switch up their offense a little bit if they want to get anything going. I mean, Maryland, they switched up their offense and were able to throw the football against us, so... Wake Forest will probably have to try to follow suit here. Oh, nice blocking. Oh, I couldn't get past my blocker. Good return from Dalton. I tried to juke to the outside here. Couldn't get around him. Dang it. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Try to reverse with Bowman. That went nowhere. Good play by the defense. Lost six yards on the play. Somebody blocked that one guy right there. We probably could have got some yardage. Second down and 16. And Nixon's going to drop it. Third and long, just like that. Wide open, Mike Mason, first down inside the 30. Let's go. No huddle. He's got three catches, two touchdowns in the ball game. And Mo Ivey's going to drop it. Okay. Not liking the drop passes here. Do not like it at all. Good news is the front seven of Wake Forest is exhausted, so should be able to do something here. 
And Dalton's got it. And he's all the way down to the three-yard line. Good run after the catch for the young fella. USC beats Oregon State 26-5. All right, John David Booty leading the Trojans. All right, first and go from the three. And Nixon, touchdown, Tar Heels. We're pouring it on here in the first half. Yeah, these regular season games should be rather easy for us to finish out the year leading up to a bowl game, which getting into the title game is not a guarantee since there's eight undefeated schools left still, and they're all, I'm pretty sure they're all in Power 5 conferences. So we could get left out. 28 nothing here in the second. Crushing our rivals. Got to play... Who else do we got to play? Georgia Tech and Duke. So, rather easy finish to the regular season. Good kick from Hunt. Down in the end zone by Swan. Play action. And nice pass. They finally throw it and they get something going. Larson to the 45. Thirty-five yard catch. Option. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, what a play from Russell. Face mask on the quarterback when we tackled him. That was Booth. It's all right. Made the play we needed to. Defending the option, just it always scares me. Because you never know what's going to happen. Let's go deep. Nice run by the fullback. Okay. And Terry Vincent injures his leg on the play. Hopefully the young fella's all right. That guy, oh my word. Looks like a transformer. Crossing it out. And makes a tackle with Russell. Yeah, see, Arkansas is number 12, and they're 9-1. and one. That's how many good teams there are. Now, a little perspective is if you go back to the Marine Corps dynasty and you look at the top 25 at the end of Season 5, I mean, there, there's so many teams with just, like, a lot of losses. There's Vincent back in the game already. But the, the parity, it's a big difference here. All right, they're down and three. I'm gonna call a timeout, give our boys some rest. And blitz, dog gold. One middle linebacker, one outside linebacker out of the three, four, let's get it. I gotta cover the slot receiver. Not anymore, probably the halfback here. He's wide open. Quarterback overthrows him. They might try a field goal, though. Nope, they're going to go for it. It'll be a 44-yard field goal, so I don't really blame them here. I'm going to blitz the outside linebackers on this play. Pinch the line. They're going to throw it. Oh, my goodness, he caught that. Booth, how do you not make a play on the ball, brother? Touchdown, Demon Deacons. Wow, I cannot believe Booth didn't even touch the ball. 
That's tough. I mean, good drive. Hats off to Wake Forest. Really good drive from them. And it's 28-7. We got 106 left on the clock. Plenty of time for us to get down the field, get some more points as well. All right, Shelton, what do you got for me? Oh, boy. I hate how slow the blockers run upfield. Up top, Mike Mason. And overthrows him. Higgins doesn't have the best deep ball, so. Really good at short and intermediate routes, though. Yeah, we definitely got mossed on that touchdown, Jared. Feels bad. All right, we're going to play action. I'm sashed. Perfectly timed blitz for Wake Forest. Third and 17 coming up. Up top, and it's caught, Mo Ivey, let's go. And he's injured on the play, but he was able to hang out of the football for us. Hopefully he's all right. All right, 30 seconds. I see you, Dalton. Nice catch. First down. We got one timeout left now. Jay Washington in the chat. What up, Jay? Lake Forest looking a little sleepy. Just a little bit. They did score on their last drive, though, so they're trying to turn it up a little. Oh, throw the ball, Higgins. Trying to hit circle. He was wide open. All right, we got no timeouts left now. Oh, line, let me down there. I mean, they did hold their blocks for quite a while, but I just needed another second. Taking off. Try to get one more play here. Come on, boys. Give me the ball. Give me it. Oh, you darn ref. <laughs> Dang it. All right, we're up 28-7 at the half over Wake Forest. Dang it. I wanted to give one more play there. That's really unfortunate. It's all right, we get the ball back. Not returning that. And Woodruff getting five yards up the gut. Malivy back in the ball game after getting hurt. Probably just got the wind knocked out of him. And he'll catch another one. First down, 10-yard pickup. Bowman's going to drop it. My goodness, Bowman. He drives me crazy sometimes with his drop passes. Come on, get that block. He didn't get the block. Dang it. Really good play by the linebacker. 
And we're in a third and nine situation. Gonna look for Nixon, maybe shifty right. Shifty, and he drops it. Oh man. Come on, guys. What are we doing? Devin Huber on for the punt. First of the game. Had way too many drop passes on that last drive. Oh, nice spin move. My goodness. Notre Dame in trouble against LSU. 17-9 at the half. Might see an upset there. Counter. There we go. I wish you didn't tackle him so, so far forward, but all right. They're down at two coming up. And I don't know what the heck that play was, but we destroyed it. And they're going to have to punt it away. Dalton. Wow. All the way to the 19 yard line. Really good kick. Oh, what a tackle. How am I feeling a day after the Natty win? Uh, it feels great, man. I still can't believe that game. The, the whole thing was insane. It was, what, 3 to 0 at halftime? And then just an explosion of points in the fourth quarter. Down at our six-yard line, 21 seconds left. No shot that I think we were winning that game. Let's go, Bowman. Nice catch. And career receptions. Bowman is the new NCAA leader in career receptions. Over 300. That is outrageous. Wow. I didn't know he was even that close to a record. Mason over the middle, first down, maybe 12 or 13 yards. How are you feeling after the natty win, Jay? How do you feel about it, buddy? Here we go, Woodruff. Okay. Nice stiff arm. Picks up eight or nine yards. And Woodruff is exhausted. My goodness. Fourth trip to the red zone. Got three touchdowns so far. And Bowman, another catch. Up to the 11. First down. Washington State beating UCLA 7-0 at halftime. UCLA, another one of those undefeated schools. They are uh, the eighth out of the undefeated schools. Higgins, touchdown, North Carolina. Let's go, baby. Slap the like button for Higgins. I'm 
going to go and check the voting really quick on Community tab. And NCAA Football 11 still in the lead with 41% of the votes. 07 is in second with 23%. 08 has 21. And 09 with 15. Nobody has voted for 10 at all. Oh, this might go out of bounds. That's alright. Slash the like button like it owes you money. Yes, sir. Thought you were going to get kicked out of your apartment how loud you were. <laughs> oh, man. Almost left the stream after the late score by West Virginia because he didn't want to see go to waste. Still hyped up. I can't believe you almost left. Imagine if you left and you didn't go back and, and see that. You would have just thought that we lost the natty. That's awesome. Honestly, you don't know how anyone who likes NCAA 10 or Madden 10. <laughs> yeah, I think I played Madden 10. Uh, I have all of the Maddens and college games for the PS2, so I've obviously I've played them a little bit, just tested them out, all the newer ones. Um, and I, I don't think 10 was very good either. Or it might have been 11. Whichever one of the last two Maddens, 10, 11, or t actually 12 too, uh, that has like the giant scoreboard in the middle of the screen up top, it's just so terrible. The discipline bug really went into overdrive. Ooh, that's tough. Oh, what a fake by the quarterback. My goodness. Really good run from Godzi. Not much I could do there. Counter. Nice tackle. Let's go. I didn't really have too much experience with NCAA 10 um, on the PS2. The last, like, when the games were all coming out, like, during those years, I think the last one that I ever actually played when it came out was 08. And then I got a PS3 and switched uh, with whatever one had Matt Ryan on the cover. That's the one that I started on the PS3 and never played the other NCAA games until later on when I bought them again. But obviously I don't have a lot of experience with those games though. Scream. Oh baby. Wow, they didn't block anybody and there was holding. How do you get called for holding and you didn't block a single person? Wow. Yeah, Mad, uh, NCAA 08 and Madden 08. Those are the last ones I had a lot of playing time with the PS2. And then switched to the PS3 in 09. And Madden 09 on the PS3. Worst football game I've ever played in my life. 35-7 as we enter the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, baby. Let's get this dub. Yeah, Matt Ryan on the PS3 cover. Yes, Marvin. I know 09 on the uh, PS2 has, was it, Deshaun Jackson? Look at that return. My goodness, Dalton. Ohio State, 10 0. My goodness. Cutting it back left side. Let's go. Woo. Woodruff is so fast. That should get him over 100. Yes, sir. We only get him like 10 carries a game, but he makes the most of them. Usually. Oh, 
Dalton is good. Yes, sir. He sure is. Ooh, high snap. Bowman, another catch. Nice spin. First down. Five catches, 97 yards for Bowman. Who is now the greatest receiver in college football history, apparently. And Nixon with a nice catch. Nine or ten yards for him. I know we're cruising for a win here, but I just like throwing it. Throwing it in this game feels so much better than 05. It's so good. Get it. Oh, Dalton with the touchdown catch. Let's go. Over 3,100 passing yards on the season now for Damian Higgins, the sophomore quarterback. And four touchdown passes in this game alone. Awesome. Extra point is up and it's good. You like that this has a button to switch from quarterback pass to run? Yes, sir. 05 has the same thing. Except in 05, when you switch for the quarterback to run, there's like a slight delay. It takes your quarterback way too long to get going. So that's one of the reasons why you saw a lot of sacks in the Marine Corps Patriot dynasty. I mean, obviously we had a terrible offensive line as well, but... Um, just that little like hesitation after you hit the L2 button to switch to the run. It just slows them down a little too much. My goodness. Godzi running people over. Higgins for Heisman. Put it on a sign. Yeah, we can customize signs in this game, right? Pretty sure. Maybe not. I can't remember. I've played so many of these college games. It's hard to remember what season or what year these actually, like, the features came into play. Look at Woodruff. Six carries, 100 yards. <laughs> it's like every time he gets a carry, it's a big play. Third down and one. Lake Forest, one for eight on third down today. North Carolina, just two of four. Is he going to do a toss play? No nope. Option. I can't cover them both, guys. I think we've got Georgia Tech after this game, and then Duke, and then our bowl game. So stick around, boys. So we're going to have four games and the offseason. Not that the offseason matters a whole lot, since Season 5 will be the final in the series for, you know, forever. Almost forever. We might be able to come back eventually. I don't know. I don't like to see that it's like a series is completely over. I like to leave it a little open-ended. Like, we could always go back to the Mississippi State Bulldog Dynasty. Could always do stuff like that. I don't think I would go back to... Um, like the Madden series, but I would totally be open for the college games to go back to all of them. NFL is just not as fun for me. Same way in real life. I, I would much rather watch college football than, than pro. Let's go. Nice tackle for Levi Squares. Fourth tackle for a loss in the game. Levi, Levi. He also has a sack. And they're going to go for it, of course. No way. 
Juno with the catch. Man. LSU hanging tough against Notre Dame, 9-0. Get that terrible animation where the guy stops running and just jumps. Wake Forest trying to finish the game strong with another score, possibly. They have a 480 a game, 167 in this one, though. Our defense is just too good. And yeah, we've only got one timeout left. You had an Allen Allen in one of your dynasties once? Nice. It's always funny to see the the double name like that. Alright, third down and four. What do we want to do? Let's go four four. Crash gold. Get him, boys. Nice tackle. Let's go. Fourth down. And obviously, they're going to go for it. Hopefully, the D-line can get some pressure. What are we doing? Oh, my goodness. Cover three, and there's just nobody in the middle of the field. What is that? All right, first and goal, Demon Deacons. Tossing it out. That's going to be a nice tackle from Alex Russell. Let's go. I thought for sure that was going to be a touchdown. Why are you pumped up? You guys stop short, buddy. You all right? Call our final timeout. Our defensive tackle is gassed. Crash go, baby. Outside linebacker blitz. In the Maryland I formation, this will probably be a touchdown here for sure. Oh my goodness, we tackled him again. Levi, Levi, his ace tackle of the ball game. Let's go. Can we stop him on third down? About a half a yard to the end zone. And they're going to hand it off to the fullback. That's what they should have done last play. All right, two touchdowns now for Wake Forest. Higgins, player of the game? Yes, sir. He's just such a good quarterback. He's very accurate, like, within 20 yards. After that, it gets a little iffy, but... He can hit some deep passes when he wants. Look at that drive. 14 plays, 80 yards, 409 off the clock. If they weren't down early so quickly in this game, I mean, Lake Forest could have been... They could have made it close, at least. I hate how they don't give you the option to just keep the ball. Like, we recovered it. Just let us have it. I mean, he's definitely not as good as me as at onside kicks. That's for sure. tackle this will be the final play of the ball game just gonna hand it off to Woodruff see what happens and got a yard wait did that does he not have 100 yards now 
Okay, he does. All right, we're good. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll run it again if he doesn't have 100. We're not going to go for this third down try here. So the final score, 42-14. to 14. We beat up our rivals, the Demon Deacons, and we are now 10-0 as we head into our next matchup against the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. I think we're at their stadium. And they, too, like to run the football. Number 46, hugging nobody there. Love it. Love to see it. Pretty easy win. I mean, once we started scoring quick and, you know, early in the game, first quarter, up two touchdowns, I mean, Wake Forest didn't really know what to do. Well, once they started throwing the football, they had a little bit more success against us. No turnovers in the entire game. All right, Tyler, take it easy, buddy. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. You're the best. I mean, technically, the game was over uh, in the first half, but... They switched their quarterback? I didn't even realize they switched the quarterback. All right, Higgins, 22 of 29, 312 yards, four touchdowns, sacked twice, long of 38. Woodruff, 100 yards, touchdown. Higgins had a touchdown on the ground as well. No fumbles, love to see that. Dalton, five catches, 70 yards. Bowman, five for 97. Uh, Dalton had a touchdown catch. Nixon had one. Mike Mason had two. Malavi, two for 44. We got the ball to every receiver here today. Defense, Levi, Levi, eight tackles, Hale with six, Russell with five, Kendrick, Sampson both had four. Look at these tackles for loss, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve tackles for loss for the defense. One sack, no picks, one deflection for Levi as well. My goodness, he was doing everything, wasn't he? No field goals in the game. And a really good 31-yard punt return for Arthur Dalton. All right, let's go beat up some Yellow Jackets. Stomp on them. Let's do it. Simulate the week. Check out the rest of the shenanigans around the top 25. Look at Florida. Six and four on the year. Oklahoma. Kansas State still undefeated right in front of us. Army 0 and 10. Wow. Boston College 1 and 9. Goodness gracious. They're getting crushed. And we did not move at all. Still, guys, this is insane. We're I don't think we're gonna make the national championship game. I really don't think so. Let's see where we are in the bowl rankings. We're actually number four in the bowl rankings, so that's pretty good. But, I mean, look at all these undefeated schools as we look at the top 25. The top six schools are 10-0. Louisville at 7 is 9-0. After that, a bunch of one-loss teams, then UCLA is 10-0. It's insane. I've never seen that many undefeated teams this late in the season. I mean, we're... What week are we in right now? I don't even know. Wow. Don't get stung. I'm going to try not to, Marvin. Higgins. Let's go, baby. Still number one. Lorenzo Booker, number two. Tyron Moss for Miami. Dropped down to fourth. Not sure why. He's got 13 touchdowns, but... No, well, Lorenzo's got 14. That makes sense. I think Higgins is going to win it, honestly. I mean, he's just, he's killing it. He's going to have close to 5,000 total yards, most likely, by the end of the season. Let's see what our bowl projections are like. And 
and we're projected to take on Louisville in the Orange Bowl. Which, honestly, wouldn't be a bad game. But, I, these undefeated teams are just ridiculous. Wow. I don't know what's going to happen this season. I'm pretty sure we won the conference already. Right? Let's see. 6-0. Ah, we got to win this next one. At least. As long as we don't lose the next two games, we're fine. ACC is kind of terrible this season. All right, let's see who the rest of the top uh, undefeated schools have to play this week. All right, so Miami's next game is at Syracuse. Ohio State's got Purdue. Auburn versus Georgia. Okay, so we might see Auburn slip up there against the Bulldogs, although they did just shut out Ole Miss 45-0. Uh, Notre Dame's got BYU. Kansas State's got Nebraska. That could be a trap game for them. We've got Georgia Tech. Louisville's got Memphis. Not sure if Memphis is really good uh, back in the day. but. And UCLA's got Oregon, which could be a tough contest for them. So there's, there's a few teams here that could lose and help us out, but we'll see. Let me take a look here. We'll turn on these sounds. We'll save this, and then we will get back in to the games against the Yellow Jackets. Rocky Clearwater in the chat. What's up, brother? Been living at a local university. Taking college courses. Nice. I like it. What are you studying, man? I don't like how the music just cuts off like that. I, I will be back momentarily, folks. Stick around. Obviously, we are going to keep playing. we got three more games in the offseason for this stream. Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Tonight's matchup is between the North Carolina Cardinals and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets.
All right, I am back. Sorry about that, boys. Get my headset back on. All right. Let's get it. All right. Take an English 101 and a math course, but you're going for criminal justice. Nice. That's pretty cool. I like that. You gonna be like law enforcement or lawyer, anything like that? Or you wanna be? Woo, let's go, baby! Oops, I'm actually on the corner here. Oh, baby, fumble. Oh, my goodness. Hot start. <laughs> Let's go. Beautiful. It's what we love to see. Power option. I don't know how I got that pitch away. Anderson is injured for the Yellow Jackets. Okay, Mason. I guess he doesn't want to catch the ball. They're down an eight. Oh my goodness. I guess we're settling for a field goal. Be a 37 yard try for Josh Hunt. Never mind, false start. I don't know if we can make this, but we're going to try it. Forty-two yard field goal try from Josh Hunt is up and it is good. Let's go. Don't tell me I can't kick. As long as it's not 05. I don't know what it was with that game, but wow. I haven't had the kick accuracy slider all the way up too. In that game. This is gonna go out of bounds, just barely. Just barely missed the accuracy bar. Of course, I was talking trash, saying I could kick, then I kick it out of bounds. Figures. Their quarterback is so short. I don't like how easily he ran through my D-line like that. Anderson out for two quarters with a sprained wrist. Rub some dirt on it, you Sally. Get him. No way. Fumble again. Let's go. Levi, Levi with the fumble recovery. Is that two fumbles for the same running back? In the first minute of the game, that's crazy. There was no turnovers at all last game. Let's go, Woodruff. Nice juke inside the 30.
to the tight end. Greer picking up eight. Our profile situation is all sorts of messed up on this. Whoops. Not sure what happened to the Optimus profile, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Wouldn't even load last time, uh, last night in the last stream. It's like, oh, you can't load a profile, it's already loaded. Then it wouldn't let me select it. All right. I hit the wrong button there. Let's try that again. Let's try and hit right. He was open in the corner. All right, we got Nixon. Down to the one yard line. Let's go. Let's give it off to the big fella. Hoffman, I believe, is our fullback. Yes, sir. 62% out there down the season, number one in the country. And the big fullback pounds it in. Touchdown, Tar Heels. All right, they have fumbled it twice, and it has resulted in 10 points for us. I like it. Extra point from Josh Hunt is good. It's 10 nothing. Let's see if I can kick this ball, uh, you know, keep it in bounds on the kickoff. That would be great. Not the best kick, but it works. Well, McNeil missed the tackle. Feels bad. Defense going back out after forcing two straight fumbles. Hopefully we can do it again. Oh, he's wide open. Ellington, what happened? Ellington, oh my goodness. That was man coverage. And man, did he not cover him. Wow. Oh, he was beat by five yards. Goodness gracious. That is extremely unfortunate, guys. <laughs> man, what a quick strike from the Yellow Jackets. And just like that, it is now 10-7. to 7. That's probably the longest play we've allowed all season. Arthur Dalton from his own one-yard line. Arthur Dalton getting up past the 30 to the 32. Louisville remains undefeated 10-0 as they beat Memphis 50-7. Throw it up to the tight end. Some positive yards. Get the drive going a little bit. Duke inside Yellow Jacket territory. He's got 810 yards and eight touchdowns. A lot of eights on that stat sheet right there.
Oh, nice juke again. Oh, and he broke a tackle. No, he fumbles. And Hardy recovers it. My goodness. Big Geo in the chat. What up, Big Geo? Second down and three coming up. And that's why we don't give the ball to Woodruff a lot. Because fumbles, gets tired. All right, good run after the catch. Nixon got extra five yards out of that play. Time for the no huddle. Let's get it. Five for eight, 58 yards in the game for Higgins. Shifty right. And Shifty. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was in. Great effort, though. Dang, he was so close to the end zone. Quarterback sneak time. Look at how close he was to scoring. My goodness. Damian Higgins. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Let's go. The lead back up to 10 with an extra point. Alright, 17 to 7. Six plays, 69 yards for the culture. 131 off the clock. be running a lot of man coverage anymore since uh, Ellington got completely torched for that last touchdown. Wow, he can't even cover zones either. Wow, what are we doing? Wait, why was Ellington even out on that play? Branch, Branch must have been hurt before that touchdown pass Georgia Tech had. the only explanation. My laptop is currently trying to restart itself. Hold on, boys. I gotta make that not happen or we're gonna lose the stream. Please don't restart. Don't you do this to me, computer. Don't you do it. trying to restart on me. It better not. Ruining my game against the Yellow Jackets. Dang it. It's like not even giving me the option to not restart it. What in tarnation? Alright, they're down to five. stop let's go but hey if the uh, computer does restart on me for whatever reason it's trying to do that um, the stream I will just have to start up the stream again obviously that's the end of the first quarter we're on top 17 to 7 over Georgia Tech
Arthur Dalton. Catch the ball. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Why did he move away from that? That is really unfortunate. Bowman, wide open. First down. I got crushed. Good catch by Bowman, though. Up past the 40. Let's go. Higgins, 8 of 11, 106 yards. No touchdowns in the game, though. I don't know how I got that pass away. Nice catch for Bowman, too. Wow. I got rocked on that pass. Off my back foot, and shifty right hangs on for the first down. I'm going to try a screenplay. Computer is restarting, boys. Oh, boy.